untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Historic Games video. Today we're taking a look at a mono green combo deck titled Tendies, as suggested and voted on by my supporters on Patreon, as the deck is mostly built around the Hope Tender plus Ashaya Soul of the Wild interaction, and Hope Tender is a 2 mana 2 2 that can pay 1 mana tap and untap target land, or we can pay 1 mana tap it and exert Hope Tender, meaning it's not going to untap during its next untap step, and then we can untap 2 target lands instead. And then there's Ashaya, Soul of the Wild, the 5 mana star star legendary elemental, whose power and toughness are each equal to the number of lands we control, and non-token creatures we control are forest lands in addition to their other types. So Ashaya turns all our creatures into forests, which has the distinct advantage of letting Hope Tender untap itself with its own ability. So we can pay 1 mana, exert Hope Tender, untap itself, which gets around the exert, and untap another land. Now we're still not generating any additional mana with this, since it costs 1 mana to activate the ability, but if we have something like a Wolf Willow Haven or a Gift of Paradise enchanting one of our lands, then now Hope Tender can untap that land in addition to untapping itself, and we actually start generating infinite mana, and the same can also work if we have a Nissa who shakes the world in play, and we untap a forest with our Hope Tender. So all those ways can generate infinite mana, and then what are we planning to do with infinite mana? Cast a big finale of devastation, grabbing a Crater Hoof Behemoth, and that will usually win the game. So let's take a look at the rest of the deck. At one mana we also have the full play set of Abundant Harvest as a nice cantrip to find lands early and action spells late. Of course a full play set of Lenor Elves to speed up the deck. Then at 2 mana, besides the full playset of Hope Tender, we also have the full playset of Sculptor of Winter as a 2 mana 2 2 that can tap to untap target snow land, and our entire mana base is made up of snow lands. And then the Sculptor of Winter will also synergize nicely with enchantments like Wolf Willow Haven and Gift of Paradise, since we can generate extra mana by untapping those lands that have those enchantments on them. Then the full playset of Wolf Willow Haven, full playset of Gift of Paradise, which we're playing over other variants just because of the life gain and buying us more time against aggressive decks. And then the full place of the final of devastation, which besides searching for Crater Hoof to close out the game, can also be used as a tutor effect to find Hope Tender or Ashaya if we don't have one already. And then we've got three copies of Harmonize, just as a nice card draw spell from the Mystical Archives. Can draw three cards for four mana, so that's a pretty good deal to help us dig for the missing combo pieces. And then the full playset of Nissa who shakes the world, which besides adding a ton of extra mana can also act as an extra win condition, turning our lands into 3-3 creatures, and can also help us hardcast a finale to get Crater Hoof without necessarily having infinite mana. And then the full playset of Ashaya, which can also act as an extra win condition just by being a very large creature. And then one copy of Crater Hoof Behemoth, 18 snow-covered forests, and two copies of Faceless Haven, which can also be nice against controlling decks as an extra win condition. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. Harvest. Maybe one goes for land, one for non-land. Let's grab our land first. And then Haven plus Gift ramps into Nyssa. Authority of the Consuls, okay. So maybe a life gain deck. If our opponent's playing the Solemnity 9 lives combo, then that can prevent us from winning, but looks like just a regular Angel life gain deck with turn to Bishop. Alright, so if we can assemble the combo, we can go over the top, but our hand currently isn't very well set up to uh, combo off, since we're pretty light on combo pieces. Can play Gifts and then still Harvests. Maybe Harvest first for non-land. Right, there's a Shaya, that's one extra combo piece. So we're still missing Hope Tender and Finale. Resplendent Angel luckily only gains four here, so it doesn't make an extra Angel. Play a Shaya, since Nissa's gonna be under too much pressure. Soul Warden into Speaker. Alright, at least we're not taking a ton of damage yet. And there's Finale, so... I don't think we want to cast Finale yet. Even though if I get Hope Tender and Top Deck another Finale, we could win. Just because 
if I draw the Hope Tender, then I still want to have Finale in hand, and maybe I can just Finale for Crater Hoof without needing to make infinite mana. Especially if we can keep our Nissa alive here for an extra turn, which should be feasible. So let's play Nissa. Is there any way I can still have Haven as a blocker potentially? Yeah. And then could put this land in harm's way. Opponent typically doesn't have much removal, so it's probably fine. And then could attack with Ashaya, that's probably greedy. Another speaker, so opponent will be able to activate speakers here. Make a bunch of angels. So I guess it's going to be difficult to kill them with Crater Hoof if we don't go infinite, since they have so much life to work with. Well, there's the Hope Tender, so next turn we can go infinite. And I don't even need my Nissa to survive. Alright, that looks good. So we'll pass, and then hope the opponent can deal 18 damage. Heal its Sun Crown's fine. They can activate their two speakers to trigger Soul Warden to get two more counters. I guess it's four more counters, because it also triggers Bishop. But even with those counters, it's still not 18. Opponent is at a pretty healthy life total, so we will need to make a lot of mana to make sure the Crater Hoof is lethal. So your opponent has 16 in the air. Two more on the ground, but we can block those. And Resplendent Angel gonna finish off Nissan, that's fine. Opponent makes another Angel, gains a bit more life. Alright, we're gonna have to make a lot of mana, so I'm probably gonna stay quiet and just focus on making as much mana as possible here. Animator Faisal Saven. And we're starting to run out of time. So, almost have to pull the trigger here, but I think we've got enough. So, X equals 33 more or less. Get her crater hoof. And a trample from crater hoof is pretty key. All right, and that should do it. Alright, we're on the play with a pretty decent hand. We have all the combo pieces to eventually get there. We can finally for Ashaya, and then the second finally can get Crater Hoof. Although finally for Ashaya is a little pricey. Facing goblins. Elves to speed things up. Might be better than Hope Tender here. 
since next turn I can't gift plus use a mana from gift with Hope Tender. And now I can go gift into Hope Tender afterwards. There's a War Chief on top, so they've got a fast start. Which is not going to give us much time to assemble our combo. But we have a decent start as well. Just would have been better with that Shia in hand instead of Finale. So can we make 7 mana next turn? 4, 5, 6. If we draw land we can. Opponent offering the trade for War Chief. We'll take it. Hope Thunder is just too important here. Alright, we drew the lands, so I think that means we can get a Shia without needing to exert Hope Tender. And then hopefully don't die to a Moxus next turn. And then the next finale will be lethal. Alright, let's see what they've got. For mana. For Prospector. Into Krenko. Alright, Krenko's good, but it doesn't kill us. And we get to go infinite here. Can animate our faceless haven too, for good measure. And a finale for 10 should be plenty. Crater Hoof and Smash. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, facing Allures of the Dream Den deck. Our hand's pretty decent, assuming we can keep these cards alive. Since we have infinite mana with the Hope Thunder Gift of Paradise combo. Opponent seems to be playing a Tempered Steel version, maybe, although I guess with Lures they can be playing Tempered Steel, so maybe it's just an Alt that Glitters build with a turn 1 Ginger Brute. Or yeah, it's just Aura deck playing Ginger Brute as an evasive 1 drop. Selfless Savior to protect the Brute and Cure Obsession to start drawing. Not what we wanted to see, but at least we dodge a turn 2 Spirit Dancer, which is probably going to kill us the fastest. And the Aura deck isn't known for having a ton of interaction. So we will eventually make infinite mana here. Although we don't have Finale yet to kill the opponent. Staggering Insight's gonna draw more cards, which is eventually gonna find a Spirit Dancer or an Alt that Glitters, which is significantly gonna increase their pressure. Ooh, nice, we drew the finale. So now we just have to worry about making as much mana as possible. So it might be better off playing another Hope Tender. And then next turn playing the Gifts. Especially if we draw land. And there's a Spirit Dancer, alright. So the clock is ticking. If we can get a Shia down next turn, we could kill them on the following turn. But we also don't want both Hope Tenders to be exerted, because then we can't uh, make infinite mana anymore. 
So we're probably gonna need two more turns, which I don't know if we have. All right, Harvest can find the lands. Not ideal though. So how about we exert one Hope Tender? That way we can play Gift of Paradise. Harvest for an extra land. Untap or Enchanted Land. Play another Gifts. And then it doesn't matter whether or not I enchant the same land since Gift doesn't stack, unlike Haven. Just want to gain some life here. And then next turn we're potentially in a position to play Ashaya and make infinite mana in the same turn, which sets up the kill with Finale. Opponent sets up their card draw engines with another Spirit Dancer. That's fine. We'll take it. And yeah, hope they don't have a counter spell. although if their counter spell is Spell Pierce, we can easily just make some extra mana to pay for it. All right, so we want to play Ashaya. And it's time to go infinite. Can untap our author Hope Tender as well now. Opponent's at 30 life, so we will need to finally for quite a bit. Just in case. Alright, 20. Search for library, get Crater Hoof. And that should do it. All right, sweet, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a nice opening hand. Elves into Gifts, into hopefully turn three Ashaya. And then finally can help find Hope Tender, or if we draw Hope Tender, find our Crater Hoof once we make infinite mana. Facing turn one island. Blue reds, strategic planning, so probably an Arcline Phoenix deck. Alright, so sadly can't play a Shia. I can harvest for land, play Harmonize. And then next turn we can play a Shia. All right, never mind. Put on discards double dragon's approach. So a dragon's approach deck, and they could already get a dragon next turn. So yeah, we'll play a Shia hit for one. Put on cast Dragon's Approach. Let's see what dragon they get. Might be a Velomachus. It's gonna be Nif Mizzet's Parun instead. And they've got the Curiosity combo. So next turn we're dead. Is what that means. And if I cast any instant or sorcery, we also die, because Nif Mizzet gonna trigger with Curiosity, and that's basically an infinite loop. So yeah, we're pretty dead here. I can play Nissa, but that's not gonna help me. I can play my gifts, but this is just an infinite damage combo.
And if Miza draws, deals one damage, goes face, curiosity triggers. I guess the only way to prevent this from killing us if our opponent had fewer cards in library than our life total, but we weren't going to get up to 40 life anytime soon. Niv Mizzet attacks. And Curiosity is going to finish us off. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine hand. Can harvest for a non-land. And then not sure yet if Finale is going to find Hope Tender or if we save it as our win condition. Alright, we found our Hope Tender, perfect. So now... We're just missing one of our enchantments, or a Nissa, to make infinite mana, and then Finale can win. Might still play Sculptor onto instead of Hope Tender, since Hope Tender isn't as efficient at generating extra mana by untapping our lands. Soul Warden, alright. Life gain decks typically don't have much interaction, and we can go over the top by making infinite mana. So, should be a reasonable matchup for us as long as the opponent doesn't have a very aggressive start. And then, yeah, we'll follow Haven, Nissa, or our uh, Gift of Paradise would all be great. All right, there's Haven. Play Hope Tender. And next turn we can play Ashaya and go infinite and get a huge Crater Hoof Behemoth to close out the game. On turn 4, not bad. So, opponent taps out for Resplendent Angel. So, reasonable curve for the Angel life gain deck. But sometimes it pays off to go infinite. Our opponent stays back with Valkyrie, maybe to play defense, or they're afraid of what we could do once we untap our land with Sculpture. Time to exert. And then Hope Tender can also untap our Sculpture of Winter after we make enough mana. So we have an extra attacker to go with our Crater Hoof. And then X equals 10 should be plenty. So, need a little bit more here. Exert Sculpture and Hope Tender. And then X equals 10. Search for library for Crater Hoof. And attack. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. This hand's not gonna cut it. This is a little bit better. And then probably bottom the gifts. Turn to Hope Tender. Into Haven. Facing a Yurion deck, so it could be a more controlling deck. Opponent's playing the 250 card special. I just realized. There's no Battle of Wits on Arena. So not sure why they're playing that many cards. Opponents got to land our elves in their opening hands. And a Temple of Epiphany, so might be a multicolor deck. Find Sculpture. I think we need to harvest for land. And then I guess we'll play Sculpture, and next turn I can play Haven, untap it with uh, Sculpture and Harmonize. If we harmonize into a Shaya then we could set up our combo. If we harmonize into another Finale, we can maybe Finale for Ashaya. Blood Crypt untapped. Serpent's got four mana. And a Lovestruck Beast adventured. And played. That's fine. And this other draw, pretty good too. Could play Nissa, although she will be under pressure from the Beast. 
So the play might still be Haven. And then make a bunch of mana. Can untap with Hope Tender, don't necessarily want exert. And then harmonize. And then harvest for non lands. Alright, another harmonize is nice. So we're pretty close to getting there on the combo, just missing our Ashaya. Opponent fetches a forest. Five mana now. For a Darfly Daredevil, which can cast our Abundant Harvest or Harmonize, although not enough mana for Harmonize this turn. Harvest for land. And we'll take some damage here. Lobster Beast on defense. Alright. I guess we could play Nissa. So. Play Nissa. Untap our forest. Assassin's Trophy gonna kill Nissa. Maybe should have plussed first. But uh, let's untap more lands so we can make more mana while Nissa's still in play. And then we'll let the trophy resolve. Forgive me. Get a forest. And then we can still harmonize. And there's Ashaya. Alright, so next turn we should have the infinite combo. Assuming our Hope Tender survives. Omnath, Locus of the Royal. Alright, it's combo time. I guess we'll play... The Gift of Paradise first, speed up the process a little bit. Play a Shia. And then Hope Tender exerts, untapping itself and the Enchanted Land. Untap Hope Tender plus Haven. Animate Haven. Need a little bit more mana. And then X equals 10 should be plenty. Get our Crater Hoof. And attack. Alright, so yeah, overall our 10D stack did pretty well today. Definitely susceptible to interaction, removal, discard spells will all slow down the combo or make it near impossible to combo off. But we always have the backup plan of Nissa animating our lands, especially useful against control decks where comboing is almost impossible. So that's gonna do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.